flash run straight at Karis, who has flash. Now, when Faker doesn't have his, it's kind of interesting, as now they're trying to get on top of Umpty, who does not have his clone, does not have level 6, and does not have his flash anymore. They're going to give first It happens to the best of us. Um, level 6, by the way. Uh-oh. Sejuani? Ash and Sejuani? Oh, maybe he's Karis, or Karis, rather, has something else to say about that. Sweeps in two of them and says, thank you very much for the free kills. Now, Kerry has caught out. He's definitely going to go down. That arrow, unfortunately, misses, but, I mean, who cares, bro? Get three kills. Melee range of view is... They're actually going to potentially set up a dive here onto Aerodactyl. They have an Ash Arrow in tow here for Karia. Oh, there it is. And now it's just easy follow-up. <laughs> oh, this is just straight up. Like, yes, now Morgan has been ganked. But before this, it was still just as oppressive in the 1v1. It's so difficult One more time. to play this as taking a lot of turret shots. Owner was definitely thinking about it, and Guma has just been the brunt of all of the action on the other side of the map as he's trying to get the kill here on Guma. Umpty will eventually be able to do that. T1 still controlling the map. As here we go, Faker a little bit low on mana. Umpty here as well, 1v2 as Faker is just trying to run away and buy as much time as possible. As there is another Q from Faker, but eventually Karis will take him down. Well, now, can we see Morgan here now on the bottom side of the map to force this into a split fight? Look at Uh-oh, Terry, uh, he's all alone. He's got a barrier. He has to ult and flash just to get out of there. As Umpty does go pretty deep, takes a, a beating there from Faker. As now Zeus just walks up to them in Mininar, he's going to have to flash away. Umpty taking a massive amount of damage, though, as even the Kemptech Drake is getting in there. You get Guma's damage here. It's massive, and... This is going to be a back, and yes, Karia overstepped a little bit here, but the teammates, his teammates were so close by, Sivir is pushing mid during Grievous this. Grievous wounds on this uh, chain pug chem sword. Um, Zeus is in a little bit of trouble, but he has Meganar on the way. Can they burst him down? Yes, they can. As the teleport comes in, fingers on top of two people, he has to flash. They're going to start it up, but Miner is really tanky. So he can face check everything and get them positioned early. Let's see if they can actually threaten this, though. Umpty is taking a lot of damage. There's the arrow into Karis. As look at the laser as Karis is just being burst down, and Owner gets in there and steals it away. Very much a flip, and T1 will get away with murder and some more as the Nar ult doesn't hit too much, but still going to get a lot of value at the end of the day. Karis also might be going down here if Karia has anything to say about it. No, he'll live. But Umpty. Maybe not so good for him, as this should be four kills and the Baron to the side of T1. Pretty sure he just changed his Anathema's chains to Umpty as well, right in that moment. As he just hit a couple of those scryers. Umpty, good. Baker spots the guy behind. Yeah. Umpty seen. And they have some really nice range as well, as oh no, Var is so close to his cleanse. Poor Henna. Didn't have flash, might not have mattered, but. Yeah, looks like T1 is going to put them out of their misery here in game number one. 30 minutes in, Zeus has, well, he had a nice <laughs> shield, and now he's gone. So T1, they lose their Nar as the two junglers are going head-to-head. -head. Morgan and Karis together are relatively threatening. So, in fact, they're just going to go away. Owner was just 1v1-ing the Wukong, and he's just going to die as they take down the third inhibitor. Yeah, take a look at where Karia is just throwing out the hawk shot. He's going to find Umti. <laughs> he has flash. He's just going to throw out an arrow. He's like, guys, I'm just going to throw this in. I might die. This Umti's flank might come through here. They are still pushing into an Azir, so this isn't just free yet by any means as Henna's trying to 1v1 Zeus here. Decent amount of damage, but Baker just says goodbye to the Karma. As he did flash forward for that one, doesn't seem to care, but now Karis? he's going to get swept up as Karis is pretty low and he's got a Sivir on top of him, so that should do it. As T1 now will be able to push in and end the game. Very clean stuff here until the end where it was... Uh, <laughs> until it wasn't. There were some rocky moments, but I think we could just forgive because the game was essentially over on that Baron call where Breon decided to go... Or bad times, I guess, depending on who you're asking, Peter not having a fun time in that game. But naturally, the Zeri is going to get the level two first. Nefford just standing up to that. Now they're going to get level two. Ignite comes down on Aguma. Remember, he saved that. Hannah did the flash forward, and one more auto will do it. And Aguma, you see, is going to go down. And Karia might be next, since he will have to flash away to survive. Caught up in the flash there. But uh, yeah, OK. 
Zeus. Nice body hey, on the Oops. top side. Here is Umpty looking for Zeus, who does have a very nice angle, though, and he's quite tanky on the Gragas. And now the Vi is here, but they don't want to fight it anymore as Zeus now is just going to flash away. Oh, and so. owner's like, because like they have a really good read. Yeah. Uh, Wukong is on the top side of the map right now. Yeah, they're going to set up for this dive here. Uh oh. Kind of just dashing forward, so this is going to be their opportunity. As owner dashing further, calling is huge on a carrier, but now Henna goes way too deep, not noticing the Vi behind him, and they will hand that kill over to Gumiusi. Either he didn't notice, or by the time that the vision was there, he was like, well, I'm dead no matter what, I'm going to see if I can get this kill first, but he's unsuccessful. This is, yep, going to be the Wukong flashing on top of the Nami. There is the Zona ult as well, straight Naguma. Out of the Definitely not Hexed. No, absolutely not. Like, there are only four possibilities, right? I, I think absolutely it's not Hexed. Anything else, I, I could probably... Umpty! Oh, here's Where Umpty. Where are you from? <laughs> Where did he come from? Where did he go? Well, he's actually going into the death chamber as the bubble is huge. Carry is just going to put an end to that as Guma says he wants another piece. And he's going to be regretting that. Baker, Baker is coming down here, but uncertain about whether or not to go. He will decide against to finish I on think that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think he... I don't want to assume, but I, I thought he had it. Anyways. You're on vision. Owner in a little bit of trouble. He's going to get stunned up as well as double cyclone, and Umpty will flash in. Which, whether he had his thunder or not, with that much of a coup, they definitely could have gotten some damage done. Get this one bottom oh, side. Oh, boy. Baker's just doing insane damage. The tidal wave into double bubble as... Oh, man. I guess they just didn't have any flashes, or they just selected not to. They all get hit by everything. Healing. And <laughs> they are very ahead. He's a big fan of denying healing, I guess. He will do that. Okay, we're going to get on top of Henna here as he will be swept up and down he goes. So that's going to be the end of him. Effort also just going to die. By the way, guys, this is 20 minutes into the game and they're diving nearly the inhibitor turret. And they're yes. not even that far ahead. Nope, just did it. I mean, their comp allows for this type of play. Baker ulting for this and now they have control over the Baron pit. No AD carry here. And uh, the Baron's head's the most delicious part. Yeah, uh, there is a saying amongst LCK fans that the Baron's head is the <laughs> most delicious part of the Baron. Here we go. Oh, Max oh, Ray. Well, in goes Umpty, in goes Morgan as well, because they have to, as this is a 3v5. Baker is pretty low, and he will get traded back. Kara's going to miss the Shuriken, unfortunately. But wait, hold on. Hold, hold the phone. Karis. They stopped the Baron with that. Yeah, but it feels like it's higher when you consider yeah. where this area is at right now. And Owner just has no chill in this game. I mean, he's going to knock up Henna here, and we do have the tidal wave, but he's alone. I mean, he is so deep in here to make this happen, and it looked okay, but the rest of T1 just could not extend that far. By Bolt with a lot of different CC in the game, you go, yeah, thumbs up, Synergy's there. You know, Ari's banned a lot when this happens, but, uh, you know, the tidal wave, not the most quick one of these synergies <laughs> that you could have. Uh, yeah. Very far away, very slow to get the follow-up damage. I think they wanted to pick Seraphine. Uh, this is a lot of poke, though, as a massive cask is just going to separate everybody. As here we go, the Sorelias, they are in it. And looking for the kills, although Umpty is pretty far alone on the right side. He will back up and look for Karia now as Baker just on the run. But look at Karis, he is chasing them down. They learned about this. They turned. They learned and they turned. He's coming up. You know, now Morgan has his teleport, but... He's sitting under turret as Jax, and T1 are freely taking this this whole thing T1 out. T1 are saying, okay, we're just going to push. If you want to try to rush Baron, you can. And they will, but very late. Are they just going to let this one go? TP I mean, for Zayas. I mean, he can get in there very quickly. They should know that this should be the call from the side of Breon. The question is, can T1 get in position on time? As here comes everybody on both teams. The engage here on the Zayas. Again, he's not that tanky. Big boop, though. And a huge cast gets everybody away. And that opens up Baker to get in there deep. And Guma is untouched on the left side of this fight as well. They're able to just zoom through the entirety of this broke opposition. Karis, the only one to survive on the left side. And that is just going to be T1 collapsing and taking the Baron. And this is why there was so much hesitation for Breon to try to start that Baron up. It's because you're just going to get obliterated if you actually can't do it quickly enough. And spoilers, they couldn't. Karis. He, uh, he may have overstayed his welcome as now he's got to go into a stopwatch. Not even as on as at this point. Baker going in. He's got Guma with him. They're just diving everything. 
take out multiple inhibitors. But they could also potentially end here as there's there's no flank threat. Award oh. here for Karis. <laughs> There is a little bit. The question is, do T1 really care about it? Karis is looking for it. There is the Sona They burst down Faker. That's going to be good enough, I think, as Karis now is in the back line. And they're trying to turn this one. No, nope, Guma did not die. Forgot about him. He's just going to get a Quadra and will be looking for the Penta on the Zeri of all champions. They has knocked him out. Oh, Morgan. Is oh, give it Morgan. You darling, you. Giga Chad Morgan. <laughs> Giga Chad Morgan. He it over. And Guma will pick up the Penta. Congratulations to Guma. And big thanks to Morgan for letting it happen. T1 gonna pick up the 2-0. Zayas is like,